Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at Code of Kids Mod Review. Well, kind of mod review. I'm so used to Minecraft as a thing mod to everything. Anyways, today we are going to be looking at Code of Kids. Now you might be wondering, this is an anchor, is it? And it's not. This is actually a completely new website. And before you say it, why are you moving on to something when you didn't even finish the last thing? I know, I know. We will be getting back to Tinker, but in my Tinker little experience, I have found this other website called Code Kids. Now you might wonder, why does it have Code Kids online? Well, because for this, you have to download programs. It's not just all online like Tinker. So, I guess we should get into it. This video right here is the thing that you will see first thing when you log in and get ready with Code Kids. It will pop up, you watch it, and it will basically show you all the Code Kids has to offer, which I think is pretty cool. Because, well, I was a bit confused on this, to be honest. I didn't know you had to download anything, and I just kind of looked into it with a blind eye. Anyways, the first thing we have here is the coding basics. Right here, basically, is, um, we have Scratch and we have JavaScript. Because, well, Scratch is JavaScript, just block coding. But, what you will see is all these different videos, about an hour long, and these are basically tutorial videos. And, you know, Scratch is that free website that you probably heard of that you can make cool, awesome games on. And it's really easy to use. Did I say it was free? Yeah, it's free. <laughs> anyway, all these people will show you how to make your own game. And you can customize it all that you want. You don't have to do the exact thing they expect. Like, I normally add a point system to all my games. But you don't have to do that. You can do the exact same thing. But cus being having custom stuff does make it more creative. Next thing we have here is some Minecraft coding courses. This is super cool. Have you ever wanted to make your own mods? Have you seen all these different mods that they use like in popular MMOs or unspeakable gaming? Well guess what? You can make it that here for real. It's not just reskinning something. You use real programs, make real mods that are so awesome. I must admit, when I saw this, it really got me ticking. I was questioning, what's this? Anyways, the first thing that you probably want to do if you actually never heard of Minecraft before is go to Mod Creation Essentials. This will basically tell you what it is, what the creation course is. If you think it's Roblox, then you have to go down, down, but it's not Minecraft. <laughs> anyway, that is a really good course for starting out and just kind of understanding what we're doing here, because sometimes it can be a bit confusing. The next part we have is the first ever thing that you will be able to customize more, I should say. The Mod Creation one for your sword. This is the coolest thing ever. You get to make your own sword, not just a reskin. One thing I must say about Tinker that I wish they could implement is something where you can make your own custom stuff. You can make your own mod, easy as that, but own custom ores or own custom properties would be so cool. But it's okay. It's still really good for beginners and people that are at intermediate or even advanced levels. So when you look on to this, you'll see all this different stuff. Normally it has three or four for each level. Four intermediate three beginner, if you're counting intro, then it's four, and 
for example, these two over here are old. So, if you want to look into them, you can. One thing I must say though, they do use 1.8. And I'm pretty sure you have to set it up on your own or something. I don't really remember. So, if you want to do that, do it. I don't care. No one cares. But uh, it takes a little bit more work. If you just want to get straight into coding, then probably these and all of this will be good. Now we're getting into the Roblox coding courses. I have so many friends that love Roblox, and you know, I think it would be pretty cool if you can make your own game to invite your friends to and make it custom. But that sounds so hard. Where do I even start? Luckily, we have these courses. And yes, it's not just all building, it does require actual coding to make these games. Your favorite games you can make, probably. You have Dodgeball, Infinite Runner, Battle Royale, a Tycoon game, Speed Simulator, and Game Passes, too. It's so much stuff, and it's so easy to just click on the video and try it. These kind of go to intermediate year, I mean intermediate, sorry, <laughs> quite soon. So if you think that maybe you need a bit more beginner before you start on all these intermediate courses, then you might want to try something else or just make sure you really understand these two. Now we get into the game programming. This is the part where you're really starting from scratch. Here, you can make your own game from, like I said, scratch, with these awesome, cool tutorials. You have all these different things, like JavaScript and Python. So either one you want to use, you can use. You also have things that you use with Unreal Development, which is they, which they use to make Fortnite. Which, I mean, yeah, Fortnite hasn't been the best on the charts lately, but it's still pretty cool that you can make your own game like Fortnite. And you have kind of this, kind of, I don't know, Mario Kart? It's new, and I haven't seen it before, or I'm still sort of new to code myself. I don't, I wouldn't try, I tried doing Python game development. And I actually made my own game, which was pretty cool. Sadly, or not really sadly, but I'm using a different account for this video, so it will not show any of the progress that I made. But I kind of want to restart anyway with this, so it's okay. Last we have the specialty coding courses. These are kind of, uh, things, well, they're special, but... Not really, but you have web devs, so if you want to make your own website, which you can actually make your own website, you have the drone programming, you have computer basics, so, you know, look into computer basics, oops, I actually didn't mean to click that, and it has a typing game down there too, here, it's just the same as this actually, <laughs> it has the same thing. So, that's all for the courses. Next we have your profile. This part here, you can put your own thing, like picture, in here. So, I mean, being custom, like I said, is being creative. So, put whatever you want. All the stuff down here is just a billing and the card information for when you buy it. You don't even have to buy it. You have a two week free trial, which is a ton of time to really get into coding. The last thing we have that's kind of important because I'll talk about why badges is kind of not going to be is not so important. You'll have to help with it. This is what coded makes so great. Or this is what <laughs> makes so this is what makes coded so great. You have real people that can actually help you with problems that you have. Not just a website or a computer program telling you 
you use this and they'll fix the problem. The thing is, since you're using real programs, there's going to be real problems that real developers have. And these people can help. And they're really nice. And they actually did help me one time when I was having a really big issue. That I was, it was, it was messing up everything and I was so frustrated. But it finally worked. You can schedule a screen share, which basically is that you download something and the people on the other side can work on your computer to try and make it work. Now, if you aren't comfortable with that, which is understandable, you can just send them screenshots. It also shows you how to send screenshots and such through the Code of Kids Help Center, which is, happens to be this little button right here. Click it, and all this stuff shows up. And, yeah, so, having problems and don't want to show you a screen on your whole computer, then you can easily just send them screenshots. But, if you think, I think I could sell this without anyone, there's tons of articles about uh, common problems that happen. So if I were to type in Minecraft, oops, sometimes it doesn't load, so let's click try again. That normally works and you'll see all the common issues. Now we have the bashing section. Now this section is a little bit messed up. I'm not too sure what happened. It's just that the colors don't show up once you finish something. But just know that it does show what you have. Just see the 100% there. And the 82% shows that you haven't done it. And if you click on the bash, it'll show you what you need to do. Like here. And that's the log out section. You might be looking at this one on private. I'm not going to talk about that. It's new, and I don't want to say any misinfo. So I'm just going to leave that be. I'm pretty sure it's like tutoring, if I'm aware, but I don't really know. Now, in the next video, I will be showing you how I'm doing with my code. I have actually made games and all this other stuff with Code of the Kids, and, well, <laughs> I'm going to show you it. Real mods that I made with Code of the Kids. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not Tinker, but I think this website's pretty cool too. It's good for people that are new, and people that, well, want something more of a channel. Hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye, stay safe, you know, and... Have a awesome, epic day.